to be a little quiet because everyone's still sleeping. Um, I have my hoodie here and then I have my design. So I will insert footage right here. design it in the app Canva. It's a free app. You can also pay into it and get other things, but I just need it for basic tidying up of my designs. So that's all I need it for. But um, I printed it onto a transparency, bought the transparency at Office Depot. I think my husband got like three transparencies printed for $3.14. So that was pretty good. Um, and then you saw me exposing it and then all you do is rinse it clear and then post expose it for another minute just to harden it a little bit let it dry and here it is so this is the wolf spain design and then i'm gonna print it with this iridescent copper really wanted to try that kind of like a rose gold um because i'm printing on a shirt and i don't want it to seep through to the other side i put one of these in between it Normally I'd use masonite, I just don't have any, and the hardware store kid couldn't cut it for me, he said, so um, I'll go back, but these are just little play mats that the kids played with. So I'm gonna put the sweatshirt in it, and then I will show you how I pull the ink through and then onto the shirt. Now I have my image kind of centered and where I want it to be. I just have it taped down on this side. Now I'm going to pull ink through and I just use a gift card to do that. You could use a squeegee, they're just downstairs and I felt like using a gift card, I can get a lot more control that way too because they're so small. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you how it comes out. screen out and just letting it dry. I clean it immediately um, and then I go back in to see where it needs to be touched up. I'm actually liking this like lived in area but it depends um, really if someone wants it touched up but I'm really proud of this detail and here it took a while to draw out and um, it really comes through and then the larkspur is just so crystal clear and in the center here it just has some really beautiful detail so I'm happy with this one I'm gonna let it air dry and then I will heat set it and that is how you screen print I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you aren't intimidated I encourage you to go try it out yourself I will link everything in the description box down below I will try and find the cheapest um, options. So some of them might not be uh, Amazon affiliates, but I really want people to do this because it's so fun and um, you can make your own clothes. So here's the hoodie. I will show you it at a later date when it's ready to go. As an artist so you might see some kids and food here and there but today's main content is me and my art so we have a few things um, that we need to get organized that we need to get printed a few orders and I'm gonna show you how I do it so I'm working on a new lino cut right now 
it's pretty similar to another design but I need to carve the rest of this out this is a new screen that I need to put emulsion on and um, need to go through some of my inks as well as some of these newbies um, I started picking up more than just white and black uh, blanks I started picking up things that are a little bit my, uh, more my style, kind of um, inspired by Stevie, Stevie Nicks, if you are unaware. I love her. Um, so I got this duster. It's a BC Beachy duster. I'm really excited about that, but I'm going to print in the back, and I'm going to start printing my logo on the sleeve. My mom gave me that idea. I really love that idea. Same thing, simple, and it won't take away from the design, but I'm really excited. So I am going to print this today. I did get a new um, thing. I'm excited. I'll just show you. But um, I printed this purple mom shirt. I thought it was super cute. So I have to steam that and go from there. Um, I did get a few more things here. I got some blanks that are more flowy, more my style. I found a free people. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it was not more expensive, so I'm not going to jack up the price or anything, but yay. My hair is a mess, but I'm just sitting over here in the window. Um, let me sit down for a second. I, um, I wanted to take you through this so you could kind of see what I do. I'm still trying to make this space a little bit more, um, I don't know, my style. So maybe some grays and pictures and things like that, some of my own art. I need another clothing uh, rack so I can do what needs to be printed, what needs to be dyed, and then things that are finished. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I, um, I'm including a free gift in some of the orders now, or in the orders now, most all of them. And um, I need to get some of those things done. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today. I start every day with some coffee and I go from there. I, um, when I'm working, I work on these things pretty early in the morning, I'd say like 4.30, um, and then go from there. Um, a lot of the night when I'm without the kids uh, after they go to bed is dedicated to YouTube editing comments and things like that, editing photos, all those kinds of things. So um, my art really takes a step back during the day because I'm a teacher, so I don't generally do any of my own art when I'm teaching. I do love to sit down with the kids and do the same projects as them. Um, it's super fun and it allows me to circulate through the room just to see each artist's strengths and things like that. So um, I really only have the morning and the weekends, but um, I'm also momming and um, you know, my husband is in law enforcement, so his schedule is, um, if you're familiar with it, it's just, um, there are long hours and it makes it very tricky uh, for him to be here um, during the peak parenting hours is what I like to say. So um, it, it is just a lot of me. So my kids are down here with me most of the time. Um, and yeah, it gets tricky, but I wanted to take you throughout the day, show you the process and kind of um, explain different designs, one in particular and one that kind of took this whole thing away. Um, I've been hesitant to share this because um, I don't know, it's just something that's a little deep for me and I don't want people to take it the wrong way. So I'm just gonna let it out here and I'll show you the design that I'm talking about. All right, this is the design the first of many. This um, crew neck is called Wolfsbane. It has a lunar moth here, um, Wolfsbane, and it has Colorado Larkspur with some crescent moons in a circle. It is deep um, with the color. It's very profound in the markings and each um, point means something. So I wanted to turn you around and explain it. All right, so I will say this, all of my designs mean something to me. Um, you belong among the wildflowers is a Tom Petty lyric. Um, a lot of the flowers are native to Colorado. The trees, um, looks, I, I, they look as simple as an evergreen tree, but um, it's a sketch that I took from the forest in Nederland and I uh, made it into a shirt. So all of them mean something, but Wolfsbane um, means something very special to me. So. Um, 
it's it's such a strange story but we've never been able to pinpoint why delilah was um diagnosed this guillain-barre we could never figure out why it happened the doctors had no idea um there was no viral infections there was um oh one second hey everyone it is actually the next day i am in my classroom right now so I wanted to continue on. Um, the audio is bad and I was just getting too emotional and now I'm like pretty level-headed, but um, I did not know today was a work day. So I have no students. So I'm just taking all of the watercolors. There's 50 of them and I'm taking the plastic off and um, just getting them ready for the next semester. I usually do supplies in the beginning of the year and then in, December um, or January depending on what and then I'll do clay towards the spring just because we don't have a lot of humidity here and um, it's just helpful to do it in the springtime but um, I wanted to continue on with the story so I don't even know where I left off um, so basically we've never had um, an official like reason why this all happened to Delilah, this Guillain-Barre. And um, I'm constantly researching, like every day I think I Google, just searching for new articles, more articles. Um, yeah, sorry, I, um, I'm searching for more articles every day. And I know this sounds so silly, but like I just had something in me just like kind of stop. Um, so we were watching you, the show on Netflix, not appropriate for a child, um, but it, it's a very good show. And we've watched all three seasons, but they use um, a flower um, and they use it to, um, it, it's lethal to a human if you use it. I don't wanna ruin the show for you. So um, the flower is Wolfsbane and I know Wolfsbane as, um, a way to kill a werewolf, right? Um, all in comic books and stuff. So it just got me thinking, I'm like, wow, what a beautiful flower and it can be lethal to a human. Like that's insane to me. So um, I looked up, I looked it up and I got more into it. And then it led me to another article that was um, 10 flowers that can be harmful to a human. And I saw like a glimpse of the article and I saw three flowers on there and I was like, huh, that's weird. I grow one of them in the garden. So I looked into it and um, I believe the ones that stood out to me were the wolfsbane because um, you can buy that just about anywhere. Um, and the second one was foxglove because I have that in my garden. I have a rare color of foxglove that I got on at the farm stand, I believe, I can't, I can't remember, but it's like this really beautiful black color and then it has a purple stripe on it. And it, I don't know how it was made, but it's super beautiful. But then the third flower that stuck out to me was Larkspur. And I, um, so I grow that in my garden, specifically in the front yard, I grow it in pots. And then um, I have a few, I, I just tried to lay them down um, in the grassy area in the front um, and they they grew and they're beautiful and I um, I don't know I looked into it even more and then what stood out to me I don't know if Google just remembers my searches or something but it was um, a case of an ingestion of a larkspur petal by um, I think it was like an eight-year-old or something um, and it immediately resulted in Guillain-Barre. Um, the next day, he started, um, you know, having these symptoms. And if you're unfamiliar with it, it is like a temporary paralysis. Um, it's an autoimmune issue. Your body attacks um, itself. So, with Delilah's case, um, it attacks. It attacked nerves six, seven, and eight. And we're still waiting um, on the MRI, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be scattered here, the MRI from the Pennsylvania Hospital where this happened because my new neurology team kind of wants to relook at um, those areas of the spine. So um, 
long story short, I saw that it was uh, Larkspur was related to Guillain-Barre, specifically the Miller Fisher version of Guillain-Barre, which Delilah did not have. So um, I don't know. I sent it to the neurologist anyways and asked her if she could look at it. The article is brand new and she needs to have her and her team look at it, but um, this potentially could be what happened. Um, the kids eat flowers all the time. I, without me knowing, I mean, they're playing outside, so I don't know. It's very possible, but, um, you know, I found this article and I was researching it and it's just such a beautiful flower. So I wanted to do a series of prints on flowers that can be toxic, something that can be beautiful and um, harmful at the same time, something that kind of tricks you. And um, I've always like really enjoyed lunar moths. I think they're really beautiful. And I noticed that they're, they're more of a fiber moth, but then I saw that they can feed on nectars of flowers for sweetness and like a dessert. Um, and Larkspur was something that they like to attach to. So that's why the lunar moth is on that design. But um, most of my designs, mean something like I said they um they mean something to me and I remember in the hospital as soon as we got to the MRI of the spine and the nerves that were damaged um like a whole bunch of stuff went wrong um the hospital we were at was a teaching hospital it was I mean we were very informed and everyone was great but um they did a spinal tap and the resident messed it up the first time so then there was protein in the blood i, I believe I, i'm so bad with medical things so i just a lot went wrong and it was a lot of emotions and my husband wasn't there yet because he was driving with my son from colorado and i just felt very alone sorry my camera battery died but um like I was saying, I felt very alone and usually art has been my way to um, work through things and I think, I mean, I asked my mom to bring me a sketchbook and some colored pencils and I started drawing her spine um, and I noticed some people that sound strange and creepy and um, I don't know, odd, but uh, that's how I work through things so that's what I was doing. Um, so I thought maybe these prints could be something that I'm working through. Um, I've said in the past I'm not the best drawler, so what I do is draw and then fix it in Canva. Um, and I thought, wow, like this would make a beautiful print on a wall. Um, so that is kind of where these designs are coming from, um, things that inspire me. Um, but this is my way of healing, I guess. If I don't know if it's healing, it's just getting through this, if that makes sense, because um, you know, I've said in the past, I asked my pediatrician now, like, does Delilah have Guillain-Barre? Like, is that what I'm saying? Or she had it. And she says you need to make, you know, doctors aware, her school aware that she has Guillain-Barre. So um, it was very confusing for me because it seems like that is behind us, but it could, um, it could come back at any time. And I think that's... Um, this this like daunting thing um they say it's very rare for it to reoccur but um it was also very rare for it to help it happen to a one-year-old um I, we've met with three neurologists i mean many but three main neurologists with her um and they've never seen it this young in their careers so it's just you know it's a lot it's a lot going on and i wanted to share this with you and um kind of share the other side of things, which was um, pricing and where I really want to go with this thrifting side of things. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I got in here and talked to you. I know a lot of my videos are on food, but sometimes it gets old for me as a creator. Um, and I want you to see my whole life. I'm a lifestyle channel. Um, it's not just about the budget. It's about other things. So. I hope this was informative and maybe you can connect with it. Let me know what you do to process um, grief and um, troubles in your life. I'm always looking for something. I know there's exercise and things like that, but uh, I'm more of a creative person, so 
when I exercise, my creative side comes out even more and it can be very overwhelming. So maybe something other than exercise. Um, I'm gonna get these paints all put away. I got the markers done. I'm gonna do a few grades and then I'm gonna go get the kids a little early. So I will see you when we get home. I'm just getting things ready. I have some crock pot meatballs for my husband when he gets here. I just did the rouse marinara, a little bit of water, salt and pepper, and garlic, and then the meatballs. We're just going to do pasta or meatball subs. I'm not sure which one he wants, but I found this at Target. It's just a glass with black for the dispenser, uh, for the soap, but I thought it was so perfect because look at our kitchen. I know it's a little bit more blue, but you couldn't tell if it was up here. So I'm gonna put the soap in there. Yay, I'm really excited about that. I know it's simple, but I'm really starting to try and put things away. My husband gets like a lot of pastries and plastic and I know it's silly, but to me, it just looks so cluttered up here. So I've been putting them in this cookie jar, any really, any sweets that we have. And the next move is this. I love a bread bin that just went over like that so we don't have to see it. Um, I know, to each their own, but I just I want it more put together. I know I am the one that are, is always like criticizing influencers saying like these perfect kitchens just can't be kept like that. But I don't think it's, per I don't think it's like a perfectionism thing for me. I think I just want things to be clean and organized and things might start coming together because I keep losing everything. Um, my mind, especially because of some small ones, uh, but that's okay. We're working on it. Um, I cleaned my paintbrushes, so they'll go back next and just really working on keeping things clean. So my favorite wine was buy one, get one free, 19 crimes. I tried a new one. Uh, it's okay. It's still a little sweet for me, um, but they had a female on the Chardonnay bottle, which was pretty cool. Um, still pretty sweet to me. I know they're supposed to be dry wines, but um, we'll test it out. My husband's been really loving old fashions, so he has his orange bitters and he got grenadine, although I said there's formaldehyde in here. He probably gets really annoyed with me dropping ingredients to him, but he loves Angel's Envy. I always get them him that for um, his birthday or something, but this Buffalo Trace I wanted to show you is from our wedding in 2017. Um, so as you can see, we're not huge drinkers, but um, it's fun in the winter to make like little classic cocktails like this. So I'm excited for our little alcohol collection, if you even want to call it that. But we are going to get this kitchen cleaned up and get some things in place. Are you soap on the counter? No, I think I'm just going to put it in this container. What do you think about that? Is your squeeze of soap is open? Yeah, I got to squeeze the soap. Just a little. <coughs> what do you think of that? Did it make a silly noise? Can you go recycle this? Thank you. Okay. And here's my homemade soap. So I just did distilled water. What else did I do in there? Oh, and just the lavender Dr. Bronner's. I just mixed it with um, my husband's ride or die palm olive. I'm not a huge fan of that. I will not even allow him to clean the kids like bottles with palm olive because I don't know. I'm scared of it a little bit, but if it's diluted, it's okay, right? I don't know. I keep seeing this like meme about being a crunchy mom and I would not call myself a crunchy mom but um there are some things that scare me chemical wise obviously if you haven't caught on to that by now and but there are other things that are just easy so I'm half and half I try and go with the flow so this soap will I don't know if it's diluted it's better right <laughs> 
the soap here. I love Mrs. Meyer's apple cider. It smells so good. And it, I mean, it lasts me for forever. Um, and then I have that soap. And then Target also sold these. You can never have enough of these. I have like two for each sink. But um, this is basically what I use. My little eco-friendly kit there. I don't like sponges just because of the germs and all that. And then you just throw them out so quickly. But I do love this. My mom got it for me and it's amazing. So, And you can wash it and it's really great. So yeah, the kitchen is almost done here. And we'll go from there. My poor little sunflowers are dying. Those are my favorite flower. My husband actually um, got them for me. Super sweet of him. And I'm going to clean up some other things. Get these little ones in. What do you, what? There's Wawa in here. Get the little ones to bed. Can you say night night? Night night. Say night night. Can you blow a kiss? So sweet. What about you, Why? Can you blow a kiss? Uh, can you blow a kiss? <gasps> Very nice. Oh, so sweet. Okay, we're gonna go night night. All right, my hair is curled. Most of my makeup is off here, but um, I, uh, I'm feeling semi accomplished and um, a little less emotional. So I appreciate you sticking by and kind of understanding where I'm coming from with the shop and what's going on in life. Um, I get emotional a lot, and this is very helpful for me, honestly. Um, it is. It, it's really helpful. I know a lot of you come here for different reasons, but I appreciate every single one of you. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you for sticking around for this day in the life. I hope it was semi-informative and helpful. And thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Stay adventurous, stay creative. Bye, guys.